Hey everyone, Oscar here, your favorite recreation coordinator for the City of San Bernardino Parks Recreation and Community Services Department. I'm joined by Miss Dolores, Recreation Specialist for the Ruben Campos Community Center. And today we're gonna be doing the beat painting rock activity that was in your grab and go activity box. So inside your box, you should have some paint. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right? The paintbrush, whoops, 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 whoops. That was provided to you with the watercolors. And you'll need to provide your own large, semi-large, medium-sized rock and paper towels. So we're gonna set our paper towels out. Or you can use a tablecloth, go spend a dollar at the dollar store. And then we'll put our rock right on top of it. Mine happens to be two different pieces, which is okay, doesn't matter. And yeah, let's get started. Make sure when you guys are using the paint that you guys are very careful with the paint. Don't get it on the table because you could get in trouble. So first, what's the first step, Mr. Lars? All right, so first what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the smoothest side of your rock. And then you are going to do a base coat of white. So you're gonna paint white on the bottom. Cool, 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 cool. That way our yellow will show up. Do you see what just happened, friends? Do you see how I started painting and the paint got down on the table? That is why I put the paper towels down. So you might need more than one coat just to make sure your yellow come out nice and bright. And it's okay if your rock isn't this big. Mr. Oscar went outside and did a nature walk earlier. And... Grab the biggest rocks I could find. <laughs> And for your bee, you don't, they don't have to be oval. I didn't get any oval rocks or rounded rocks. I just grabbed big rocks. And we can kind of just look at our rocks and just kind of identify where we want to put our eyes. So I think my bee is going to go like this because my piece is two pieces. Are you gonna paint the middle where it's cracked? Like this? Or on the inside? On the inside. The bee's guts. No, I was gonna say like, like a heart in the middle. Oh, well, we could put a heart, I guess, because our bee is full of love. Right, so once you're done painting, you will have to wait a little bit just to let this dry. Now that our now that our rocks are dry and we let them dry for a little bit, we're gonna go on to the next step. Dolores, what's the next step? So first what you're gonna do is grab a pencil and then draw two ovals to make the eyes. I'm trying to decide where I want my eyes to be. So it's good if we do them now. That way when we paint the top part black, we'll know where not to paint, so we'll have room for our eyes. Cool, cool, cool. What if my ovals are different shapes? That's fine, because mine are two. Or different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> you 
should be good. Okay. So once you're done drawing on your eyes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start painting your stripes. So for first, we're gonna start with yellow. So that's gonna start at the bottom and it's gonna be like two thirds of the stripe or of your B. Two thirds of the B. Yeah, so this one's gonna be like a thick. A stripe? Well, I, don't know. I guess it's not a stripe, it's like a... It's like the bottom? The bottom. Should we do it like as an even line? Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And then just make sure all of the white for that first one is filled in. So you don't see any white. And then if you are done, you'll clean off your brush. slightly do a smaller line of black and it's going to be like one third so now we're adding a strip of black yeah so this one i don't think you have to like clean off your paint because if it's a lot of paint on the brush it's good and it'd be like thick coat on there. It would look pretty good. How's yours? I don't know if I like it. I think it should be good. It looks like Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the first part you're gonna do is gonna be like a thick yellow and then your black stripe. And then you'll continue on. But you gotta let this dry first. Just so a little make, bit. Wait, two more stripes? Yeah. But we gotta let it dry for a couple minutes so that way when you do the yellow, it won't mix with the black. Um, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a break. Yep. We'll be back and then I think when we come back from this little break, we're gonna do the head. Yeah. All right, cool. See you guys later. All right, Dolores. Now that we added, now that we let our B dry and added extra stripes, what's next? So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna need the black paint and you're going to fill in the whole top of your rock with black. Just make sure that you leave the two ovals that you did to draw on white. Make sure we don't cover them. Yeah. Basically. Cool, cool, cool. Let's try this. So I'm going to try to paint around my eyes first. Oops. I painted my stripe. Half my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. That's hilarious. But with this one, just make sure you use enough paint to cover the white. Then, if you have paint left over, you can try and find another rock and make Pikachu. Make a Pikachu. Gotta catch them all. But he has brothers though, right? Is there other evolutions of Pikachu? Besides Raichu? Yeah. I don't know. I only watched the first season. Or the first... Uh, cartoon? The first cartoon. Of Pokemon. Okay. 
Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I finished mine. I'm gonna sit back here. Use my finger to rub away the black that I accidentally smeared on my yellow stripe and paint that yellow again. All right, so once you are done painting the top half black and making sure to leave your eyes uncovered, you gotta let it dry for about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, just to make sure that the black doesn't smear when you are coloring in your eyes. All right, Dillers, my rock is dry. What's next? So we could either decide to use our black paint and put a little dot in our bee's eyes or to make his eyes, or we could use the markers that we have in our box as well. Ooh. So I'm gonna use the markers and I think I'm gonna use the color blue. To draw a circle into mine. I'm gonna use, I guess I'll use purple. Or is there a green? Yeah. That one right there. My going to have green eyes. So it doesn't matter where you put the eyes. It's up to you. we have to do is the wings so we have to make sure that our brush is clean because we're going to be good dipping it back into our white so if you need to change your water go ahead and change your water for this last one make sure it's dry or not fully dry but Mix the pan un poquito. And we're gonna make some wings. Yeah. So depending on how big your rock is, that'll be like how big your wings are. So I actually want your bee to have small wings. That's fine too. So I think I'm going to start by making maybe like an oval. An oval shape? Kind of shape, yeah. All right. In the middle of it. I'm gonna copy you. And then you'll do two of those. Cause you can't fly with just one wing. I'm ready. Yeah, but you can do it lightly on the top. Don't push down too hard because you don't want the other colors on the bottom to mix. Just mix it. Ooh. Okay. So then after that, you're going to rinse off your brush. Fill 
I want to be the very best. So you're going to draw Pikachu after? I might make, I might go get another rock to draw Pikachu. So once you're done with your wings, clean off your brush, and then you just let them dry. What if I want to add a stinger to the bottom? Or you could add a stinger. You would use your black paint. This is optional. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just gonna do draw a. He's just feeling the creativity right now. Stinger. So then, would you do a triangle? Yeah. Upside down triangle. All right, on the butt. Bottom? On the bottom. <laughs> Mine looks like a heart. <laughs> <coughs> or you could draw a heart. I'll put a heart inside of mine. Because my B opens up. <laughs> While the head was drying, I drew a heart. That's my B, guys. Make sure you guys share your B with us. Tag us, SB City Parks and Recreation, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And then we'll see you guys soon.